good morning all of you my name is pravin gulare and I, over to this topic is uh, gynoecium so uh, in last lecture we uh, discuss about the stamen so later stamen is a male reproductive part of the flower like while gynoecium is a female reproductive part of uh, flowering plant so uh, the individual unit of the gynoecium is called as carpel carpel also uh, consider as a megasporophyll uh, megasporophyll because uh, it produces a megaspore or egg cell which represent the female uh, gametophyte in flowering plant again uh, it is a uh, outermost wall of uh, the flower in flower there are four walls calyx corolla stamen and gynoecium uh, endosium and gynoecium so it is the innermost wall again uh, in some flowers there is a sterile pistil or uh, fertile, uh, without fertile ovules is called pistillode the pistillode generally uh, not produce the uh, fertile ovules it generally produces sterile ovules so then uh, number of carpels the number of carpel also important in gynoecium Uh, sometimes the single uh, carpel uh, present in gynoecium the gynoecium consider as a monocarpellary an example is p likewise when two carpels are present uh, gynoecium is known as bicarpellary example is brassica again three carpels when three carpels are present in a gynoecium gynoecium is consider as a tricarpellary gynoecium an example is gloriosa likewise tetra carpellary um, uh, term consider uh, when four uh, carpels are present in a flower uh, example the tura uh, five carpels uh, our below the example like a hibiscus contain pentacarpellary ovary having five carpels in a flower uh, or melia as a direct uh, buckneum uh, is common name of melia likewise when uh, more than 5 or many uh, numerous carpels present in a gynoecium the gynoecium consider as a multi carpellary gynoecium an example is papaver somniferum commonly known as opium plant or aphim plant so uh, next uh, our next uh, part is the parts of gynoecium uh, earlier uh, we discussed about this stamen which is a male reproductive part having uh, three uh, it consists of three parts uh, like uh, anther lobe and then uh, connective and filament likewise in gynoecium gynoecium also consider as a consists of various uh, parts like a uh, end uh, part is called as this is a receptive part of gynoecium which is called as stigma it uh, generally receive the pollen grain from same flower or another flower uh, this uh, slender region below the stigma is called as uh, style which is a tube like structure generally it transfer the pollen tube from stigma to the ovary and it tra also transfer the gametes inside it again uh, this particular region connects stigma to the ovary ovary is a basal swollen uh, vessel like part or a flask like part which can uh, which produce the ovules inside it so these are the ovules uh, and this is a thalamus on the thalamus this particular ovary is situated so this is a uh, part of gynoecium so next one is the ovary ovary generally is a ovule bearing structure and it is most important structure in gynoecium because it uh, produce the fertile uh, ovules which represent the egg cell or it produce the female gametes inside it so uh, it is a ovule bearing structure or uh, it is a compartment in which ovules are present generally Uh, when we cut the section of ovary uh, then uh, there are so many compartment in some time or uh, in uh, pea plant only single compartment is present so this compartment or chambers 
generally uh, consider as a ovary so uh, the number of uh, compartments represent the number of carpels in this particular flower so uh, generally a compartment uh, is commonly known as a locules you know locus the locus is resemble the locules so locules means chamber in which something situated again when a single chambered or single compartment present in ovary or gynoecium the gynoecium may be unilocular or ovary considered as a unilocular ovary example is pea plant when we talk about pea plant this is a um, ovary of pea plant initial stage when we take section of this particular uh, ovary um, there is a one single chamber is present and marginally single ovule uh, is uh, attached to the uh, placenta here uh, this is a placenta margin uh, is present and on the margin uh, ovules are present so it represent the single chamber or single locule that's why it is known as unilocular ovary likewise when two chambers or two locules present in ovary so generally it is a uh, fused ovary two carpels are fused okay so this two chambers represent two ovaries okay so when two chambers are present in a gynoecium the gynoecium uh, ovary is considered as a bilocular an example is brinjal so in brinjal when we cut the section of fruit uh, we uh, observe the two parts are equally alike in which uh, both side of uh, this particular lobe uh, ovules are present or seeds are present generally the seeds are nothing but the mature ovule so likewise when three chambers are present in ovary uh, ovary considered as a trilocular ovary in family lily is generally this character is found uh, another uh, family is cucurbitaceae like uh, kakadi or cucurbits uh, member generally show this uh, particular type of chamber three chambers uh, in its ovary so that's why the, it is a trilocular trilocular ovary likewise when four chambers present in gynoecium or ovary it consider as a tetralocular ovary an example is osimum sanctum osimum means uh, tulsi so uh, likewise when five chambers present in ovary ovary consider as a pentalo pentalocular ovary uh, generally this particular character found in hibiscus rosa sinensis when we uh, cut the section of hibiscus uh, flower passing through the ovary it contain five chambers okay this five chambers are present this five chambers indicate the five uh, carpels okay all five carpels are fused to form a single ovary in this particular ovary five chambers present that's why pentalocular ovary okay then uh, when more than five chambers are present in a uh, ovary is called as multilocular ovary like uh, citrus when we talk about citrus fruit santra uh, uh, agar aap dekhte hain to wahan pe bahut sare uh, aapko chambers dikhte hain theek hai santre ki aapne phodi dekhi hogi na to usme jitne bhi uh, ye ek ek jo part hai wo kya consider karta hai ek ek ovary ko represent karta hai so it is a multilocular ovary so Uh, next uh, topic is uh, this particular topic is position of ovary uh, we earlier discussed about this uh, the position of ovary generally uh, position of ovary is based on the, on the thalamus how uh, how um, ovary is situated on the thalamus uh, on the basis of that uh, three types uh, three types of ovary are occurred first when thalamus is convex shape convex uh, type the uh, ovary is superior ovary shows the topmost position and other wall below the ovary so that's why its condition is a superior ovary and this particular condition found in 
hibiscus rosa sinensi when all floral whorls present above the uh, ovary all floral whorl present the present above the ovary likewise this all floral whorls present the above the ovary this is a ovary and ovary is completely surrounded by thalamus thalamus completely covers the ovary and at the tip of uh, this particular thalamus the other floral whorls are present means other floral whorls are above the ovary that's why this condition is inferior to the inferior to the other floral whorls here all uh, floral whorls uh, this particular ovary is superior to the others yahan pe kaisa hai inferior to the others matlab sabke niche hai that's why it is a inferior example is cucurbita then last one is partial condition here thalamus is cup shape and uh, it show the um, partial arrangement so uh, other floral whorls are partially situated to the ovary means half or less than half or more than half but ovary is not completely below or above the other floral whorls the condition is partial that's why the ovary is semi inferior the position of ovary is semi inferior an example is rose okay likewise the next topic is style style is a slender uh, tube like structure this portion present between the ovary and stigma what is the function of this function generally style uh, perform the function to carry the pollen grain from stigma to the pollen grain or male gamete from stigma to the ovary so that is the function of style generally style arises at different position with respect to the ovary uh, on the basis of which it can be of following type the position uh, may be different in different type of plants so first is the terminal style in terminal style the ovary sorry style arises at the tip of ovary dikh raha hai yahan pe so this is a uh, apex of ovary this is a ovary and this is a apex of ovary the style arises from the terminal uh, point that's why this is a terminal style second is lateral this particular ovary this is a ovary and this is a style this style arises from the lateral point not a tip or not base it arises from the lateral side that's why this particular style is known as lateral style likewise uh, stylopodium type of style also present in some flowers in which uh, this particular type of cup like uh, ovary is present and at the tip of ovary a uh, slight depression is uh, present and on the depression a podium like structure is developed podium means stage like structure develop and from the depression of uh, this particular podium style is arises likewise this particular stage like structure is known as stylopodium this structure is known as stylopodium so this is a stylopodium type of style next uh, topic is uh, gono basic style so this is a gono basic style generally it arises from the center of the ovary uh, generally uh, we consider as a uh, it arises at the from the base of ovary so these are uh, four ovaries and from the center of this ovary this particular style arises that's why this ovary is known as gono basic style gono basic style means it arises from the center or base of the ovary so this is a gono basic style and the next uh, topic is stigma so stigma is a receptive uh, portion of the uh, gynoecium generally it receive the pollen grain or male gamete from the uh, anthers of same flower or another flower uh, of different plant okay the uh, generally stigma surface of stigma is generally rough or thicket based on Uh, the nature of anther or nature of flower or uh, it also depends on the nature of uh, its pollinator so it may be rough or sticky 
uh the stigma shape of stigma also vary in uh, flower to flower so there are some uh, types of stigma uh, considered in our flowers uh, first is capitate type of uh, stigma which generally show a cap shaped structure uh, likewise this is a cap shaped structure uh, is called as capitate type of stigma then uh, generally in a uh, lamy is your uh, asteraceae family like uh, uh, when we talk about sunflower so in sunflower there are many florets so uh, this is a disfloret so in which this particular gynoecium is present so the stigma of this particular gynoecium is bifid or uh, two walled two lipped so this is a bifid stigma stigma divided into two lip okay so Uh, in some time uh, plumose or feather like stigma also present so this is a feather like stigma uh, present again radiate hood like structure also present in which sessile uh, sessile um, stigma also present sessile means no style uh, occur here uh, no any style occur here this is a ovary and this is a stigma the stigma is Uh, radiated and uh, it shows a cap like or hood like structure which covers the tip of ovary so this type of arrangement is called as radiate hood like stigma okay so uh, next type is funnel shape funnel means chhanne ke liye wagera jo use karte hain wo funnel so some uh, stigma also uh, funnel uh, show funnel shape structure in which this particular funnel receive the numerous pollen grain and inside this funnel this particular pollen grain germinate so next type is branched uh, stigma so in which uh, stigma is numerously branched so it show a branch structure sometime a stigma is linear linear means ek line mein kya hoga ki yahan pe stigma arranged honge like this particular structure at the tip of uh, this particular uh, style the stigma is linearly arranged so this is all about stigma our next topic is cohesion of uh, sorry stamen ho gaya yahan pe cohesion of gynoecium so please uh, make corrections so this is a gynoecium okay so this is a gynoecium so likhne mein dikkat ho raha hai isliye thoda sa samajh jao ye kya hai cohesion of gynoecium means gynoecium ke arrangement ya carpels ki arrangement kaisi hai attachment kaisa hai to wo yahan pe humko dekhna hai so when there is uh, more than one carpel in gynoecium humne uh, pehle bhi study kiya hai one carpel agar hoga to monocarpellary bahut sare honge to मल्टी कार्पेलरी और सोन ठीक है सो वेन देर इज मोर देन वन कार्पेल इन गाइनोशियम एंड ऑल कार्पेल्स आर रिमेन फ्री और दे आर रिमेन फ्री वन ही है तो ऑल नहीं बोल सकते दे आर रिमेन फ्री फ्रॉम ईच अदर मोर देन वन कार्पेल है और वो सारी की सारी कैसी है फ्री फ्रॉम ईच अदर मतलब सभी सेपरेट है एक दूसरे से तो ऐसे कंडीशन को हम बोलते हैं अपो कार्पस कंडीशन गाइनोशियम इज अपो कार्पस मीन्स ऑल कार्पेल्स आर फ्री द एग्जाम्पल इज माइकेलिया चंपका माइकेलिया चंपका फ्लावर या एनोना सीताफल जिसको हम बोलते हैं तो सीताफल में अगर आप देखेंगे तो इस तरह का हमको नेचर दिखता है ऑल कार्पेल्स आर फ्री फ्रॉम ईच अदर मीन्स सभी के सभी कार्पेल हमको सेपरेटली दिखाई देते हैं ठीक है जब हम सीताफल देखते हैं तो सीताफल में भी आपको यही स्ट्रक्चर दिखेगा Uh, uh, आप लोटस प्लांट देखेंगे तो लोटस प्लांट में भी आपको एक एक कार्पेल्स यहाँ पे सेपरेट दिखाई देगी दिस पर्टिकुलर राउंड जो ये यहाँ पे होल दिख रहा है या राउंड दिख रहा है दिस इंडिकेट द फ्री कार्पेल्स मींस वो सेपरेट एक एक कार्पेल है दिस कंडीशन इज नोन एज अपो कार्पस कंडीशन व्हेन ऑल कार्पेल्स आर रिमेन फ्री कॉल्ड एज अपो कार्पस सो द नंबर अनादर टर्म इज द नंबर ऑफ कार्पेल्स इन अ फ्लार फ्यूज टूगेदर पार्टली और कम्प्लीटली यहाँ पे सब फ्री थे अदर टर्म क्या है कि 
अगर फ्लावर में सारे के सारे कार्पल कैसे होंगे फ्यूज होंगे पार्शियली होंगे या कंप्लीटली होंगे तो दिस कंडीशन इज नोन एज सिंग कार्पल द कंडीशन इज सिंग सो सिंग मीन्स फ्यूज कार्पस कैसी है फ्यूज है दैट्स वाई वी यूज टर्म सिंग कार्पस सो इन सिंग कार्पस ओवरी कार्पल्स वेरी ग्रेटली डिफरेंशिएटेड इन डिफरेंट प्लांट्स सो फर्स्ट इज फ्री में तो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है लेकिन यहाँ पे कार्पेल्स uh, में थ्री पार्ट है जैसे हमने स्टेमन में देखा कभी कभी हो सकता है कि स्टाइल फ्यूज हो कभी कभी स्टिग्मा फ्यूज होता है कभी कभी ओवरी फ्यूज होती है तो उसमें बहुत सारे टाइप्स यहाँ पे हमको डिफरेंशिएशन मिलता है तो वो देखते हैं हम सो इन फर्स्ट टाइप ओनली ओवरीज आर यूनाइटेड ओनली ओवरीज आर यूनाइटेड एंड स्टाइल्स एंड स्टिग्माज आर रिमेन फ्री मीन्स यहाँ पे क्या है स्टिग्मा और स्टाइल फ्री है बट ओवरी फ्यूज है यहाँ पे ये दो स्टाइल और दो स्टिग्मा इंडिकेट करते हैं कि यहाँ पे दो ओवरी फ्यूज है बराबर है तो ये बाइकारपेलरी ओवरी है और यहाँ पे सिंगली ओवरी दिख रही है हमको बट जब हम इसका सेक्शन लेंगे तो हमको दो चेंबर दिखाई देंगे सो दिस टाइप ऑफ ओवरी दिस इज अंग कार्पस कंडीशन बराबर है इसको क्या बोलते हैं हम सिंग कार्पस तो इन विच दिस पर्टिकुलर ओवरी ओनली ओवरीज आर यूनाइटेड एंड स्टाइल्स एंड स्टिग्माज आर रिमेन फ्री एग्जाम्पल इज डाय एंथस ओके सो नेक्स्ट वन इज वेन ओवरीज एंड स्टाइल्स आर यूनाइटेड वॉट इज यूनियन कहाँ पे है तो स्टाइल का भी यूनियन है और ओवरीज का भी वेन ओवरीज एंड स्टाइल्स आर यूनाइटेड बट स्टिग्माज रिमेन फ्री दिस कंडीशन ऑब्जर्व इन जनरली हिबिस्कस प्लांट आपने हिबिस्कस फ्लावर देखा होगा यहाँ पे फाइव स्टिग्माज रहते हैं बट ट्यूब एक ही रहता है और एक ही ओवरी दिखती है हमको बाहर से सो दिस इंडिकेट दिस इज अ सिंग कार्पस ओवरी इन विच फाइव कार्पेल्स आर फ्यूज ये उसका एक स्टिग्मा है सॉरी स्टिग्मा स्टाइल है और एक ही स्टाइल है मतलब ये क्या इंडिकेट कर रहा है कि यहाँ पे फ्यूज स्टाइल और फ्यूज ओवरी है बट स्टिग्मा यहाँ पे फाइव है और स्टिग्माज आर फ्री सो इट इंडिकेट देर आर फाइव ओवरीज फ्यूज टू फॉर्म सिंग कार्पस टाइप ऑफ अरेजमेंट अगेन थर्ड टाइप इज ओवरी स्टाइल्स एंड स्टिग्माज आर फ्यूज मीन्स होल गाइनोशियम इज फ्यूज दिस टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर फाउंड इन ब्रिंजल सो यहाँ पे ओवरी भी फ्यूज है स्टाइल भी फ्यूज है और यहाँ पे स्टिग्मा भी फ्यूज है लेकिन जब हम ब्रिंजल की ओवरी का सेक्शन लेते हैं यहाँ पे हमको दो चेंबर दिखाई देते हैं मीन्स यहाँ पे दो क्या है कार्पेल्स है बट ऑल आर फ्यूज यहाँ पे दो स्ट्रक्चर दिख रहे हैं क्या सिंगल ही स्ट्रक्चर दिख रहा है बट सभी के सभी स्ट्रक्चर कैसे हैं फ्यूज है और फ्यूज होने के कारण ये सिंगल स्ट्रक्चर ही हमको दिखता है बाहर से जब हम सेक्शन लेते हैं तब हम